Jordan Phillips has resigned for one year, three million dollars, and I I know that this won't affect the comp pink bingo just because Joe Marino told me told me so, and I believe him. But it's because he resigned as a free agent of the bill, so that doesn't count technically. Because you, I guess it would not like I guess it would affect it if the Bills signed another defensive tackle from another franchise. So as long as you resign your own, you're good. You could lose a lot of players, but as long as you resign your own players, you're technically in a net negative four comp bingo, so you would get rewarded. That's my understanding of it, at least. But I could also be wrong. <laughs> but anyways, Jordan Phillips, he's back. I really, really like Jordan Phillips when he's healthy, but the last three-ish seasons... This man has been hurt. Hurt. Missed a lot of games after he had that breakout year with the Bills, with the Cardinals. Then the year after that, missed a lot of games. Got cut. The Bills picked him back up. He plays for a couple games this year. Has another hamstring injury. And then, like, something with his shoulder. I think he only missed, like, four or five games or something like that. But he was trying to play through injury, and he was just straight up ineffective and that's not his fault right if you're hurt you're hurt i love playing basketball i love playing volleyball i love playing golf i i'm a very like sport oriented person and nothing sucks more when you're hurt but you still want to play and nothing is even more frustrating when you're playing and you can't do what you normally do because you're physically held back Sometimes you don't even feel pain when you're injured. You just can't do it. And that stuff pisses me off more than anything. Because, like, you don't feel any different. You just can't do it when you know you can. It's like, it's probably one of the most aggravating things and things that actually get under my skin the most. It's just, it it really is defeating and it makes you feel kind of small, if I'm being honest. But, uh... I hope Jordan Phillips, I think he's scheduled to get some shoulder surgery to fix that fix that rotator cuff, if that's what he, he injured. Um, he, he just seemed like he was injured by a lot of things. But he is scheduled to have surgery in the off season, and I hope that he comes back healthier than ever, and I hope he can contribute to this defensive tackle room, considering that outside of him, it's just Tim Settle, Ed Oliver and Daquan Jones, and again, those guys, including Jordan Phillips, are not under contract after this year. Now, after next season, that's a better way to put it. So, <laughs> we kind of need them to stay healthy because if one goes down, like, you know, what what do we do? Tim Settle, I have a lot of hope for him, but he didn't really show a lot, and he also got hurt a little bit. And then what if one of them goes down for good, good, and we resign one of them? It's just like this huge bet. And we the need for defensive tackle and consistent, healthy defensive tackle is just so massive. It's so massive. But we're not thinking about it because we're looking only in the lens of next season. Got to We got to look forward, be forward thinking. And it sucks. Because I just want the Bills to just push all the chips in the middle of the table and just win a damn Super Bowl. But if you want sustained success, you got to you got to learn how to forecast. And I think the Bills have done a good job of that, especially with this off season, because specifically they didn't make huge huge moves, and I think that was honestly financially responsible and resource responsible. <laughs> 